on Jackie. Your light doesn't work, but all the other lights on the same circuit do. It might be time to replace the switch. Now before you call an electrician, let me show you how easy this job can be, and here's how. Today we're replacing a light switch that controls the light from only one location. When you're ready to get going, it's always very important to turn your circuit breaker off and also label which switch you're working with so that no one turns it back on. Now, first off, we're gonna start by loosening the screws on the plate here so that we can get to our switch. Take that plate off, and right here you see your switch. And now we need to get to the wires so that we can test them to make sure that the power is actually off. So we have to remove the switch from the wall, and you can use a Phillips head for that. So you want to gently pull your switch out of the wall, and then this is where you use your circuit tester. You hold it on up to the wires to make sure that there's no power flowing through here. If it doesn't beep, you're okay to continue. So we're ready to disconnect our old switch now. What you want to do is just pull it away from the wall, find your two hot black wires, and unscrew the copper ends. Just loosen up the screws, slide them right off. Now, if you flip your switch over, a lot of times you'll see a copper wire attached to a green screw, and that's actually your grounding wire. Loosen that one up too, and free your switch from the wall. Sometimes these wires are attached using push-in connectors. Use a small screwdriver to press it on in and pull the wires out. So now we're ready to install our shiny new switch, and I know it seems simple, but remember to make sure it's facing the right way up. Connect the two hot live black wires to the screws. The same way that you took them off, you're gonna to wanna to put them right back on, and the same thing goes for the copper ground wire. Just wrap it on around the screw and tighten it up. Once all your wires are in place, it's always a good idea to wrap some electrical tape around the screws and the wires for extra insulation. All right, the hardest part is over. Now all you have to do is attach the switch back to the box using the two long screws. Before you put the cover plate back on, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your switch works. So turn your circuit breaker on and flip the switch. Victory! And that's all there is to it. So proud of myself. For more easy and stress-free DIY projects, head to lowes.com slash home101.